so broke I couldn't I was so broke yeah. I couldn't fix Yo, 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 what it do, YouTube? It's your boy, BZB, and I'm back with another video. You feel me, bro? All right, man, so we got a new series on deck the Rise series out the mud. Now, we're gonna pop this series off with SSG Little Splurge. Now, SSG Splurge was raised in Arlington, Texas on August 21st, 2001. On the east side section, which is known as EA. It is a tough area to grow up in, not necessarily the hood, but there's a lot of crime and typical hood things that go on there. Now, Tay K is also from the EA. He opened doors musically for the section of the DFW. Splurge grew up with fellow EA artists Two Tone, Two K, Two Gang Huncho, and plenty more. Splurge played sports growing up. He was actually pretty good in basketball. They said he was good in football as well. He was later removed from school at the age of 15, which led him to begin his music career. He started with a fellow EA artist by the name of Two Gang Huncho in 2018. They made a single that caught the city off guard by the name of AutoZone. It was distinctively different because of the flow he had coming. You know what I'm saying? The beat selection was different. It was just, everything was different from this area. It was a new sound, basically. Now, with the success of AutoZone, Splurge dropped Backwoods. Now, this song is by itself, you know what I'm saying? It was a solo song, and he dropped it three months later. Now, this single went crazy, went viral, and logged in over a million views with this one. Now, the city began to check him out, you know what I'm saying? The eyes started opening up. They got behind the young MC. Now, Splurge later appeared in the EA vlog by Say Cheese TV, who was also from EA. After this video was released, it turned the artist up even more. He began to see his fan base rise and even crazier things. You know what I'm saying? His followers were shooting up, views, everything was going up for him. Now, he, he dropped the Beat by Jeff video literally one month later, and it went absolutely viral. You know what I'm saying? It went crazy. He released it on World Star Hip Hop. Now, this video got over 6 million views. When we heard this song, it was, it was even more different from Backwoods. It was a beat by Jeff that he made with no melody, you know what I'm saying? It was just straight 808, straight bangers, all type of stuff. And the bars he was saying in the song was like, it was crazy. Now, they called this rap caption rap. Well, he called it cap caption rap, you know what I'm saying? Like every line he said in the song, you can use it in the caption. <laughs> so that's why they called it that, which is creative, you feel me? He's seen over 6 million views on this video. Now Splurge, Seen the success that no other Arlington artist has seen in recent time. He even earned a slot on tour with Lil Pump that was strictly overseas. He also earned a, a slot on Rolling Loud and he brought out his whole crew, the whole SSG crew. You feel me? Now, it was a lot of people that was had questions about this because there was no two gang huncho in sight. You know what I'm saying? The fans began to speculate and seemed like it was a little tension between the two artists. Now, if it was any tension, it was kept under wrap. The rise of Splurge kept getting crazier and crazier. His former music partner, Two Gang Huncho, later released a diss song aimed at Splurge called Fiesta, using his beat from Margella. He shot it in his neighborhood, Heather Glen, which is where Splurge is from as well. You know what I'm saying? That's why he called himself Glen Baby. Now, Splurge never really officially responded to this diss song. He continued his career. Now, in an interview, Two Tone, which was also one of their guys, he was cool with both sides. You feel me? He explained in the interview with Dallas Global that he did not want to choose a side in the beef, so he stayed away. Two gang huncho. You know what I'm saying? Y'all all came up around the same time. And it's yeah. like at the beginning, we seen y'all with each other a lot. Now it's like everybody kind of, you know, like, is it? Is it still, my brother. Yeah. So it's still good vibes with everybody. Huncho, with you. my brother. I just don't. I'm not the type of nigga that's going to be seen with either side wise. I'm going to I'm not. I don't, I don't like. I don't, I don't like that. I don't like uh, dealing with that shit. Like, I'm not that type. Like, you know what I'm saying? If it ain't got nothing to do with me, I'ma stay the fuck out of it. You feel me? So I don't want nigga. I ain't trying. I ain't finna be dry. I still fuck with my niggas and shit. But once, once shit get to a certain point, it's like you gotta kind of, you gotta kind of distance yourself from the shit. Like even splurge, it's my little brother. Like I love him to death. Won't let nothing happen to him. You know that. Vice versa. Like been on him forever. But yeah, I, I better see that nigga. I probably see that nigga like. Once a goddamn, once twice a month, maybe even if that, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? We talk to each other good, love you too, you know what I'm saying? You doing good, check on your all that, you know what I'm saying? But, like, like, 
I don't know. Other than that, I feel like niggas might not everybody take it the same way I'm taking it. Some people feel played like and they, they feel like I just don't fuck with them. But like, you see, I ain't hit that unfollow button. If I ain't hit that unfollow button, I don't, yeah, you know what I'm saying? I fuck with you still, you feel me? And sure. niggas gotta know that. Niggas gotta get, to get out their feelings and shit. Nah, for mm -hmm. sure. Shit. From all of it, you feel me? Which was smart. He gave the artist the time to settle their differences, basically. Now, Splurge would later release a song with his friend from the neighborhood, Teasy Blood, called True Story. They talked about the shoot and left Teasy paralyzed from the waist down. Now, in the interview, Splurge revealed his that he was related to his popular Fort Worth artist, Bud Boom, who was publicly into it with Go Yayo, -Yo, which prevented Splurge and Go Yayo -Yo to do music. The politics would never allow it. Yayo and Splurge briefly exchanged heated words through Instagram. What the fuck? What the fuck? Weird ass nigga. Hey, y'all seen this splurge. Y'all seen it to that pussy ass nigga splurge. Yo, y'all tag splurge right now. Nigga. What the fuck? Fuck playing with me, nigga. Hey, talking about me. Yo, I don't know what you nigga rap bad nigga playing with me for, nigga. On my kids. I don't know what you rap bad nigga playing with me for, nigga. From Hurston niggas four hours away, nigga. They can talk from say this one. You, in, you right here in the dead dog, nigga. You 20 minutes away on crib. We're finna push up, nigga. Where you at? On game, nigga. I wanna do some punching. I don't wanna talk. I wanna do some punching. Y'all get splurge on here. The fuck time back go get your body back. What the fuck? Nigga, you riding for that shit or something, nigga? What the fuck? You riding for that shit, nigga? But it was never really nothing serious. You know what I'm saying? Now, continuing on with his career, Spurge has been doing his thing. You feel me? He's been perfecting his craft. He's been staying out the way of any drama, of anything crazy. You never hear any like weird allegations about Splurge. That's why we, you know what I'm saying, we champion him around this area. We give him all the respect he deserves around here, you know what I'm saying? Shout out Splurge. This is part one of Out the Mud. Let me know if y'all want part two. I'm going to bring y'all boys that heat. Shout out SSG. It's your boy, BZB. I'm out.